1969. No. Ron Spicer, class of 1971. Hey, I'm Steve Hart. Um, I taught for 30 years at Denby High School from 1984 to 2014. Yes, I'm Louis Phillips III. I attended here uh, by senior year of high school in 1967. Rosanna Meinhardt, class of 79. Hammakers Richardson, class of 1974. Michelle Lewis, class of 1975. Um, Cindy Nash, um, slash Davis, um, class of 1977. Go Patriots! Hello, I am Mrs. Arrington, and I've been here at Denby High School since 1983. And still standing strong. Thank you. My name is Aaron Wilkerson, and I graduated in 1991. I'm Regina Wilson. I graduated in 1992. Hello, my name is Gail Brown. I graduated in 1988. Hello, Dominic Lane. Graduated in 1979. Class of 1990, uh, glad to be back. Uh, Dr. Hockman was the principal at the time, and uh, his son, Buck Hockman, and I shared classes together. Uh, Mike Tomlin, head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, we graduated together. Glad to be back. Okay, my name is Reggie Garrett. I taught here from 84 to 89. I was a JV football coach for two years. Uh, assistant varsity coach for a few years, and also coached uh, basketball with Dennis Katufis. Hello, my name is Hayward Williams. I'm class of 1975. I enjoyed being here at the time. Graduated from here and went on to Hampton on a football scholarship, full scholarship. Graduated from there in 1979. I teach in D.C last 26 years. That's 1988 and it's been a long time and I'm just happy to be here. Uh, my name is Dan Clemensic and I graduated in 1970. I'm Janet Klein Clemensic, graduated in 71. 
Hi, my name is Joyce Spa. I taught in the English department at Denby from 1976 to 2014. I love the Patriots. This is home to me. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mrs. Benet and I want to wish Denby High School 50 more years of a wonderful, wonderful place for all our students in Newport News and I've been teaching in Denby High School since 1986. Hi, Amanda Osgood, Weatherless, graduated in 1978. Hi, I'm Mrs. London and I have been teaching at Denby since 1996. It's been a great 20 years. I'm excited about what is in store for Denby High School for the next 20. I might not be here, but I'm excited for them. Thank you so much for celebrating on this 50th anniversary. My name is Michael Gardner, and I graduated in 1971. Yay. <laughs> Good. OK, I'm Mike August, and I'm from the class of 1978. My name is Tony Curtis, class of 1976. I'm Mrs. Franz, Francis Topping, and I came here the year the school opened in 1965, and I stayed here until 1995. <laughs> so I was here 30 years, and I taught English. So my name is Barbara Graves. I taught English right here from 1987 to 2002, and I had a most enjoyable experience while I was here. Doris Harris, class of 88. <laughs> it was there. Hi, this is Miss Davis, teacher of the year 2015 2016 school year. Hi, my name is Christina. Um, at the time I graduated, my last name is Collins. Graduating class of 1994. I'm Ricky Judge, graduate of 1978. My name is Monique Everett, class of 1988. My class of 1984. Christian Felipe, class of 1991. Stacy Hogan, class of 1994. Ivy D. Lee retired in 2009. Hi, I'm Veronica Griffin and I graduated in 1987. Hi, oh, my name is Denise Prince. I graduated in 1978. Ms. Palmer was one of my teachers, Ms. Williams. Hi, I'm Trina Murdoch, Steffi, class of 1970. Go Patriots! Nancy Buchanan Lewis, 19. Oh, what happened? Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Y'all have the same answer. My name is Gene Coleman. I graduated in 1981, which is a long time ago. Hi, my name is Chris Finley. I graduated in 1970. Kevin Irish, class 85. Angelique Burrell was Brinkley, 1988. My name is Charlene. I'm a tourist. My name is Agnes. Well, in school, it's Agnes Woody. I'm now um, Agnes Elizabeth McGrath. I graduated in 1988, and currently I'm a school teacher with Newport News Public Schools. We've been best friends since middle school and still good friends. Hi, I'm Wanda Carey Lee and I am class of 1989. I'm glad to be back at Denby. It's the best years of my life. My name is Linda Wilson Phillips. I graduated in 1969, but in the summer of 1965, I was part of a student steering committee that organized the orientation, the opening of school. We outlined the Constitution, the handbook. We set up the first election and we did the polls for uh, numerous things like voting on the school mascot and everything. We had nothing back then, but it was the most fun. And here we are, a whole group of us. We introduced Denby High School in August of 1965. Tell me when you're ready. You're ready. So I just walked in the building and found out that the music hall is named after me and my brothers. Uh, Reggie, Roy, and my brother Rudy that passed away. Victor and uh, Reggie Roy, Rudy, Joseph and Victor, so it's pretty exciting to come back. And like uh, like my brother Roy said, if you, you realize that if you work hard and you uh, give some focus, that maybe one day you two 
can leave on the school bus and come back on the tour bus. So uh, I got, we, we, we owe a lot to this school and we just want to say thank you. My name is Joseph Wooten and I graduated in 1979. If you could state your name, please. Janice Shaw. Thank you. And were you Debbie's first fan director? Hey. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Lane. I haven't seen you in years, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. It's been a long time, man. How you doing, man? Good. Keyboard, keyboard. How you doing, man? You're all in a different group. So I'm always trying to get the wish to get the JROTC has actually a couple teams, drill team and um, exhibition team, and a couple thing, uh, a couple teams that are pretty different. Uh, Miss Jackson, do you know those those doors are open? I okay. got. Thank you. Thanks. <coughs> All right, so if you guys will follow me, please.
I'll be heading down this way. Please follow me. This way. Alright, we're heading down to the gym now. We have a small gym. On the right side, we have the Hampton, Hampton Road School that we play against in some different sports. And on the left side, we have the Newport News. As you guys can see, as you guys can see, what side is all the way at the end? And because that is one of our big rival schools. Yeah. So we, didn't, we put them as far as we can from our school. So this is the big gym. Um, and the other side is the small gym. We will not be stepping in there. But it is a lot smaller than this one. We don't have all those bleachers as big as that. That's way bigger than what it is in there. All right, so we'll be heading out now. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Thank you. Good afternoon. <laughs> All right. Good afternoon. My name is Eleanor Blow, and I'm principal here at Denver High School. Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully you can hear me. We're doing the best we can with the audio. It's up as low as it can go. <laughs> okay, this is the loudest we can get. I'll try and use my outside voice. What's left of it. We are glad to have you here today for our 50th celebration. It's not often that you get to celebrate 50 years of a school being an establishment. Denby High School has been in this community 50 years educating the students in this community and we're very proud of it and that's part of why we want to celebrate today. All school year, we have been planning for this event and so we hope that you enjoy. I know that there's lots of activities going on. Hopefully you had an opportunity to take part in the tour. If not, you can do that after this ceremony. And hopefully you're also going to stay for the concert by Slap Nation, who are Denby alumni. All right, we're excited about that. So thank you for coming out this morning, this afternoon, showing your patriot pride. We want to take a moment before we go any further to recognize our special guest. First, we have Dr. Ashby Kilgore, Superintendent of Newport News Public School. Nichols, who is our Chief Academic Officer of Newport News Public School. Susan Tilly, who's Executive Director for Secondary Education. And we are very pleased to have Denby High School's first band director, Ms. Shockley, here also as well, sitting on the front row. And we're pleased to also have school board member Shelly Simons here as well. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoy the festivities. Thank you. Now we will have the presentation of colors by our JROTC, followed by the national anthem by our Denby High School band and chorus students. Please stand for the national anthem and presentation of colors.
time. Hard. be seated. Thank you. Thank you to our JROTC band and chorus for that. As noted in the program, for those of you, of you that have a copy of the program, we will now begin our recognitions and dedications. I will now ask Denby High School's athletic director to come forward for a special 50-year recognition. Good afternoon. <laughs> My name is Brian Weaver. I'm the athletic director here in the class of 1989. It is with uh, great privilege I can stand in front of you today to represent two of our former alumni, Mike Tomlin, who hopefully you saw the video he sent us in the hallway, and Antoine Bethay. Neither one of them could be here today, but they've been back recently in the last month and a half and took an opportunity to sign the 50-year commemorative footballs for the NFL Senate. So each, each member signed them. Uh, the NFL sent one of these to all the high schools of people who participated in the uh, Super Bowl. Unfortunately for us, we have two champions in our, in our history. It's a wonderful thing. So it's great honor and privilege to represent these two men of great character and great alumni. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Coach Weaver. We're thrilled to receive the NFL Golden Footballs during our 50th year, so it really is symbolic that it was 50th Super Bowl and Denby High School's 50th year. So we are very proud of those, those that represent us and represent that Patriot pride. Not only do we have Denby alumni that have excelled in athletics, we also have former Patriots who have excelled in the music industry. The foundation of their music education took place right here at Denby High School, and I will now ask Denby High School's band director, Chris Ward, and choral director, Arlisa Powell, to come forward for a musical presentation and dedication. Thank you very much. As we reflect on 50 years of educating the community in Denby High School, it's important we recognize the outstanding achievements from the music department. Over the years, Denby High School has consistently set a standard of excellence for music education. The classrooms and trophy displays are filled with performance accolades from competitions and music festivals throughout the country. These trophies serve as a small representation of the hard work and dedication of our talented students and staff. The ensembles at Denby High School have performed at the White House for numerous presidents. They have also marched to the inauguration parades for Do Governor Douglas Wilder 
and President Bill Clinton. Denby has graduated many musicians that have gone on to have successful careers in music performance and education. Today, we would like to rec specifically recognize our distinguished graduates, Elijah Wooten, class of 1974, Roy Wooten, class of 1975, Rudy Wooten, class of 1976, Joseph Wooten, class of 1979, and Victor Wooten, class of 1982. At the age of nine, Elijah, known as the teacher, began to teach his little brothers about music and how to play instruments. With Elijah on guitar, Roy on drums, Rudy on saxophone, Joseph on keys, and Victor on bass, they formed the Wooten Brothers Band. As their skills grew, so did their popularity and opportunities for performance. They would soon be opening on tour for some of the biggest R&B and soul bands of the time. The brothers individually have sustained long, successful, and highly respected careers in the music industry. They have received many accolades throughout the years, including instrument endorsements, bass player of the year awards, and a combined 10 Grammy awards. Most recently, keyboardist and vocalist Joseph Wooten was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of the legendary Steve Miller Band. While a student at Denby High School, Elijah wrote the school's alma mater, which is one of the most unique and beautiful alma maters that you will hear in the Hampton Roads area. When asked to write the new school fight song for the Denby's 50th anniversary celebration, Elijah gladly accepted the call and wrote an exciting contemporary fight song entitled, We Are Denby Patriots. Furthermore, he came to Denby with his brothers, Roy and Joseph, to personally teach the fight song to our students before it debuted at the 2015 Homecoming Game. In December of 2013, the Wooten brothers took a break from their nationwide tour to privately perform and speak to our students in our auditorium. Their willingness to share their talents and wisdom with our students and staff has made a lasting impact on Denby High School. It is with great pleasure today that we dedicate the Denby High School Music Hallway to the Wooten Brothers. From this day forth, it shall be officially named Wooten Music Hall. In recognition, in recognition of outstanding contributions to the music and education, by, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> contribution to the music and education by Elijah, Roy, Rudy, Joseph, and Victor Wooten. Here to accept this dedication is Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee Joseph Wooten. This plaque will be prominently displayed on our music hall. <laughs> so I just uh I just got a chance to play the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony. And truthfully, it's, uh, that honor belongs to my boss, Steve Miller. It's, it's good to be part of it, that's actually his award. Um, I've gotten a chance to speak to lots of students around the country, and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was cool, but it is not more gratifying than this. It is not more gratifying than this. So I, I, texted my brothers because they weren't able to be here. Victor has to fly to Japan today. He wanted to be here. Roy has a seminar to teach because it's International Jazz Day. So, and Reggie has a seminar to teach because it's International Jazz Day. And, uh, and I'm sure Rudy is here in spirit. Um, but I want to give you their words and they were, they were smart enough to be brief. And if you know Roy, 
That's kind of unusual. I can't really talk. Anyway, Roy said, um, he said that if you work really hard to the students, to the music students, if you work really hard, you too can be somebody who is leaving on the school bus and coming back on the tour bus. <laughs> And um, Victor says, uh, that's really amazing. He said, tell everyone, I really wish I could be there today, but I am on my way to play some concerts in Japan, the U.S., and Europe. I'm spreading the spirit of Denby High around the world. Talent alone is not enough anymore. Talent is much more powerful when combined with an education. Thanks to everyone at the school for helping us with both. And uh, my brother Rudy's not here, but I'm sure if he was, he would look just like this. <laughs> he would have that smile on, he probably wouldn't say much, he'd probably look like that and go, thank you everybody. That's probably what he would say. Um, I sent a videotape of the, the, the rhythm section and the choir doing the fight song. And Reggie wanted me to tell you guys how, how good you sounded and how good you looked. And I want to thank Miss Powell for just going above and beyond the call of duty. I'm honored to have you as my classmate. We were in the choir together and we dreamed about days like this and this has certainly exceeded it. And she's more, she is just so above and beyond the call of duty. But I'll say, and I, uh, I want to talk all day, but I promise I'll be brief. I promise I'll be brief. I just want to, I just want to thank everybody and show some sincere gratitude because um, as my mother used to say, we have enough good musicians, but we don't have enough good people. And she was always more concerned that we were good people than good musicians. People would ask her, aren't you proud? Because all your sons are so talented. And she would say, that's all they've done their whole lives. They ought to be good at it by now. <laughs> she would say that all the time. She said, but if you tell me that they inspired you, or if you tell me that they helped you, or if you tell me that you look up to them, that makes me proud, because that's what I worked so hard on. My dad never said much, but he was there every day. And um, I thank him because he would go through his whole work week at the shipyard and what should have been his weekend, he was packing gear and, uh, and keeping us safe. So I thank my parents, I thank this school, I thank all of you, and uh, I'll probably go back to my seat and fall apart now. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you. Right. Thank you, Mr. Moore and Ms. Powell, and a special thank you to Mr. Booten for being here with us today. Um, Mr. Booten was actually here on Friday, working with our students, um, inspiring them. Actually, I had a student come up to me and said, I met Mr. Wooten. She was very excited about it, so definitely made an impact on our students today. Um, we are very fortunate to have them be a part of our Denby family um, and the legacy that is here at Denby High School. So we are very proud of you and thank you for coming and know that there's always an invitation for you to come to Denby whenever you'd like to come and visit. Um, today, we are also here to celebrate the dedication of our beautification project. Um, we're thinking about what we could do to commemorate the milestone of this e these 50 years. Um, actually, Coach Weaver mentioned a concept that he had um, years ago. And we came together as a staff, as a team, and decided that that was what we wanted to do and we wanted to make it happen. Um, so we are here today to um, dedicate our brick project. Um, many of you may have already purchased a brick, um, so you can leave your legacy here. But we want to take a moment to give special thanks to those that helped this project actually come to be. Um, first, we would like to thank Denby Construction. I don't know if there's anyone here representing Denby Construction. J.D. Hammond, 
Uh, Randy Pingley, I believe Randy is here somewhere. Can you raise your hand? Uh, there he is. He's being bashful. Thank you. He helped us with the landscaping of the project. Grand Rental, um, all of our vendors, and of course this afternoon, Slap Nation, who also helped to be a part of this. Um, we are very excited, and at this time, I'm going to introduce one other board member that came in, and then we're going to actually do the dedicate ribbon cutting for our project. Mr. Hunt, Gary Hunter, one of our school board members, is also here as well. Thank you for being here, Mr. Hunter. At this time, I'm going to ask Dr. Kilgore and our other special guests if you could come forward and join me in the ribbon cutting and dedication of our brick beautification project. We will then be followed by the band and chorus who will do the alma mater and the new fight song. Dr. Kilgore? Other special? We also want to recognize um, the bench that you see there as well, Mr. Antoine Bethay, who we recognize as one of our um, Golden Football um, winners, also dedicated a purchase a bench for our project as well. So we also want to say that as well. Thank you. All right, our band and chorus will now perform. And we will have closing remarks by Dr. Kilgore. as you can tell. Thank you very much. At this time, I'm going to ask Dr. Kilgore to come up and give us some closing remarks.
fun has this been? How wonderful. I want to thank everybody for coming today to honor Denby. It really is an honor for me and the board to be a part of this milestone in Denby's history. Just think about 50 years of educating a community. That's quite a milestone, quite an accomplishment. Thanks to alumni that are here, teachers that are here. This is just a very, very special day. Um, you've heard a lot about the history today. I had a chance to walk in the hallways and meet alumni. They were um, high school sweethearts here at Denby, and now they're still here today. And so there's a lot of good stories in this audience, and there's a lot of 50 years of stories in that high school that of wonderful, wonderful things that have happened, and how this community has been shaped by Denby High School and all the wonderful things that have gone on inside this school building and outside here. Um, I think though we, we need to recognize that over this 50 years, as a school transforms, as young people change, as adults change, there is one thing that always remains constant, and that is our commitment to education here in New Purdue's Public Schools and our commitment that we're going to prepare our young people for big futures. You saw a lot of big futures here today, and every young person that goes to school now, that's what we're getting them ready for, to be ready for college, for careers, and for citizenship. So this is just, a, the legacy will continue at Denby. So thanks to everybody that's here today, thanks to this entire community, this, com this school will continue to build this community and to host a lot more eager young minds throughout its history. So happy anniversary, Denby. Thank you for having us all as a part of it. And now enjoy the fun and festivities and the fellowship of everybody. Thank you. Uh, there's been a special request for the fight song again. So before we close, let's hear the fight song one more time.
Marcellus Harris. I'm the head football coach here at Denby High School. Been here since 2008, also an academic counselor that served our students. And I love our school, and I'm so excited to be out here today. They, do, they were doing the flag. It slipped out about they were going to do the hall, but it's still moving to see it. Yes, it's that music hall right there. The first, the first right that you can make when you go in there is now, is now Wooten Music Hall. How about that? <laughs> well, I forgot to say, what I wanted to say was, you know, Wooten Music Hall could have easily been Edgar Webb Way or, you know, Betty Thompson Boulevard, you know, Miss Sullivan Street, you know, because it's... You graduated 79 with me. Save the best of the 70. Hi, I'm Chris Ward. Um, I'm the band director of Denby High School. I've been here for eight years, and I graduated in 1999 from Denby High School. Hello, my name is Arlisa Powell. I am the choral director here at Denby High School, and I am the Denby High School graduate of the year 1980. I'm celebrating my fifth year of teaching here as the choral director, and I am so glad to be part of the 50th celebration. I'm blessed to be able to teach in the very classroom where I was inspired to do my job. So, thank you for Denby for making me who I am. Was not concerned with how good we were. She knew that we would take care of that part, but she was concerned with what she would call us having a, a good foundation. And she taught us all the other things about integrity and respecting other people. But even when we would say the blessing around the table, part of the blessing was make us ever mindful for the needs of others. So she was that kind of person and she made sure that we were that kind of people. She was, I'm sure she's really Oh, she's, yes. And my, 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 dad, my dad too. My dad too. Victor, my brother has a music fan, my little brother. And my mother would love to come up and see the kids come in timid and leave with confidence. And she loved kids and talking to them and inspiring them and she loved us doing that too. So well, I've always was, heard about you guys, but I never got to meet any of you. So, so yeah, everybody, everybody wanted to, everybody wanted to be here, but everybody was busy. Oh, sure. Victor's yeah. leaving the country. The other two yeah. are teaching. So, well, it's yeah. really nice that you took time to be here. It's my, it's my pleasure. I was just in, just a couple of days ago, was in uh, Colorado, with speaking to high school students and playing That's and nice trying to you. inspire them. And, you know, I, and I then came those back. Those kind of things mean so much. It, and, it really does. And you remember when you were a kid how much they meant. Yes. And it's just important to keep Because we were, we were inspired too. Yes. We and fortunately were. for us, you know, we had some influential older people that took us under exactly. their wing. Chairs out there. Okay, so. I didn't start on. I didn't start on. Um, come on, who's going to go? Sorry, the. No, I didn't start on. I love my Denby High School family, and I hope everybody comes out and buys a brick. It shows their patriot pride. Have fun today, okay? Mwah, love everybody.
Oh, yeah, 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 Okay. Hi, my name is uh, Mrs. Linda Williams Grant. I come here approximately 15, 15 to 20 years off and on. I was a military I'll be right wife. So all right, Brianna. We uh, Brianna went to various it. military right, stations and came back. Then I was an assistant principal for a few years here prior to retiring. I loved it, Vienna. Yeah, it's a picture, you pleasure to be back here okay. to celebrate okay. 50 years of being here, serving the community and education. I love all of my students, okay, thanks for going whether I was teaching them or well, serving saying, as an administrator. Happy 50 years, Derby High School. I love you. Remember? Thank you. More important. David Wilson. I was here from 65 to 1970. Was able to uh, help pick out the school colors and the patrons' name. I was in eighth grade there, in the first class to go from eight through twelve. Hi, I'm Dr. Smith, and I'm the program director at Aviation Academy. I've been there five years and seen a lot of wonderful things, worked with a lot of wonderful people. More importantly, helped a lot of great kids along the way. So, thanks for all you do, and hope for another great 50 years to come. Hi, my name is Devin Crane. Graduated here in 2013, Dibby High School. Love it here. Dibby Band and Chorus Room now is the drum major. Great place. Happy to be back out here. Ain't no one talking about I'm just a brick. 